Yeah. So today we'll be starting our uh, new topic, breakdown maintenance. So the topics we are going to cover, they are, we will be looking at what is breakdown maintenance overview. So how the breakdown maintenance process flow will work. Okay. So how the maintenance notification is created in the, in the breakdown maintenance, how to create the work order, how to create the work order, then how to schedule the work order, then how the confirmation of the maintenance work order is done, then how to do the technical completion, then how to do the closure. And after that, we'll see the overhead calculation, overhead cost calculation in the maintenance order, then how to do the settlement, settlement, and then how to complete the maintenance order, business completion. So these are the topics we'll be covering today in the breakdown maintenance. Okay. So basically, what is breakdown maintenance? So breakdown maintenance, basically, you will be doing whenever a, a technical asset, your technical asset is having any problem. Okay. It's repair you must have to be planned. So in the breakdown maintenance, you will be correcting a malfunction or a machine failure by raising a notification in the system. So whenever there is a machine is under breakdown, machine is not working, machine is not working. What we'll be doing, the, the production people will be raising a notification. So using that notification, you will be carrying out the maintenance activity. Nothing but repair activity. It's a repair activity. So this is the basic process flow. Okay. So production people, production department normally, whenever a machine is under breakdown, a machine is under breakdown, they will be raising a notification in the SAP system. Okay. That notification will come to the maintenance supervisor or a maintenance planner. Okay. He will receive that notification. He will accept the notification and using that he will be creating a maintenance order. Okay. Maintenance order. Okay, so using this maintenance order, maintenance order, maintenance technician will do the work. He will fix the malfunction. He will fix the malfunction. He, that means he will do the repair activity. Once the repair activity is done, finally, you will be completing the confirming the order and will be completing the order in the SAP system. So this is the basic process flow. You will be following it in the real time and in the SAP system. Okay, so now let's do this in the system. So notification. So whenever there is a machine is under breakdown, okay. Whenever your equipment is under breakdown, uh, a particular notification is created. Okay. So notification is created. So when they create the notification, they will be entering what is a technical object, what is a te technical object, and what is a malfunction. And they, if, if if they need any requirement, they they will enter those things in the notification. Okay. So for breakdown maintenance process. Your starting point is the creation of notification. So breakdown maintenance process gets triggered when they create the notification in the system. Okay. So a typical notification looks like this. Okay. So now we'll log on to SAP. We'll be creating the notification. Okay. So I'm logging on to the system, SAP system. Okay, so the transaction code to create the notification is IW21. IW21, create PM notification, initial screen. So the notification type yesterday for regular maintenance, we used M1. We knew we used M1. Today we will be using M2, malfunction report. Okay, so enter the notification type, enter. So you will be going to this screen. Now they will enter the which equipment is under breakdown, they will enter. So this is a equipment we are using, 500 kVA diesel generator and they will write the description like DG not working. DG not working. That means your diesel generator is not working. So they enter the description, they enter the equipment number, enter. So it will show you the warranty pop-up because the equipment is still under warranty. That is why you are getting this pop-up. It's okay. Continue. So all the data from the equipment will get copied to the notification. Okay. All the data from the equipment got copied to the notification. Now scroll down. Now here it is a breakdown. So they activate this checkbox breakdown. So when they activate this checkbox, whatever the data we enter here, 
that will be getting updated in your plant maintenance information system as a breakdown. So this data will get captured in plant maintenance functions. Okay. So they raise the notification. They raise the notification. So now if you the notification status is outstanding. If you click on the button I, if you click on the button I, outstanding notification. Notification as of now it's outstanding. Okay. So go back. Now they will be saving the notification. Okay, so your notification is created. Okay, so we have done the first step. We have done the first step. Okay, we done the first step. Now the second step, planner will receive accept this notification. Okay, so let's go to change mode IW22. You will receive the notification. Okay, of course here they will be entering the uh, reported by with, by whom it is reported. They can enter. Okay, so notification date and time. That's okay. Now the planner who receives the notification, what he do is he will he will he will ask the maintenance planner, he will ask the maintenance technician to check on the machine. What is the problem? Okay. So they identified some parts have got damaged. So using our catalogs which we which we created in the master data, they will enter the catalogs. What items? So let's say my engine got damaged. My engine got damaged. So in the engine, let's say my bearing got damaged. Okay, and what is the cost? You can enter through catalog. Just one minute. Hello. So let's say the gasket got damaged due to overload. Okay, so this in this way they will use the catalogs. Enter. Now let's say one more part got damaged. So I'll click on one more item, create item. Okay, object part is engine. Let's say in the engine again, let's say damage is the damaged part is gasket. My gasket got damaged, and the cause is let's say overload. Okay, and I'll create one more item. Click on the cricket item. So whatever the parts they got damaged, they will enter through these catalogs. Okay. Let's say again engine in the engine. Let's say coupling got damaged. Coupling got damaged, and the cause reason is overload. So they will analyze this, and they will enter here. Okay. Now once that and that data is entered, they will put the notification in the in process, put in process. Okay, so now notification status will get changed to NOPR. Notification in progress. Notification is in process. Okay, so planner will do this activity based on the technician's input. What objects got damaged? You will enter the data. Okay, now those things you will be able to see in the items. So in the items you will be able to see. So my bearing got damaged. My gasket got damaged. My coupling got damaged. Okay, so now, okay, so now go to the task. So what task we need to perform? So now we need to perform. We need to replace the bearing. Okay, we need to replace the gasket because these are damaged. We need to replace the coupling. Enter, and of course we need to replace some bolts and nuts. Okay, let me enter replace bolts and nuts. And we need to do final inspection. Do the inspection. So these are the ones tasks we are going to perform. All these are coming from our catalogs, which we created in our master data classes from the catalogs. Catalogs. Okay. So now we enter the data. Now your tasks are outstanding. Tasks are outstanding. Okay. Now select the tasks. Okay. And he will be releasing the task. Now tasks have been released. Tasks have been released. Now these tasks we need to perform. Okay. Now to perform these tasks, we need some bearing, we need gasket, we need coupling, we need new new parts because these are already damaged. 
and to capture your uh, maintenance costs we need to create the maintenance order so i'm saving the notification okay now from this we will be creating the maintenance order okay so as of now i'm showing you here i'm triggering the maintenance order maintenance order from the notification okay of course you can create order directly also directly also through iw31 the transaction code is iw31 from that you can create order maintenance work order directly but here we are creating through notification okay just give me one minute huh? just give me one minute okay so i am creating the order uh, using the notification okay so let's create the order so go to the maintenance notification change mode again notification go to change mode now click on the button create order there is a button create order so i am creating the work order so click on this button again it is showing the warranty pop up box because the equipment is still under warranty this is what we entered in the equipment okay still it is under warranty that's why we are getting this pop up box continue now you are getting this pop up box so we are going to create a order so yesterday we used pm01 today we will be using pm02 pm02 repair order breakdown maintenance order that i am using is continue okay continue it's a scheduling agreement is there that's why you are getting that pop-up box it's okay now we are at the maintenance order create repair order all the data from the notification got copied to the order work order even in the work order you can see the notification number so this is order and not yet saved this is the notification notification number okay all the data equipment functional location work center planner group everything got copied from the notification to the order okay so we are here so now uh, order can be created different methods as of now we are we are looking at this option from the notification from the notification we are creating the order maintenance order that's what we are doing of course there are some other methods are there which we will be looking at in other classes other sessions okay so now let me save the note order first i am saving the order Okay, so your maintenance order is created. The order number is eight two double one six seven. So take this order. So go to the change mode. Go to the change mode. Take the order. Copy the order. Go back. Go to IW thirty two. This is the change change order. Okay, enter the order number and go inside. Now the planner will identify what operations we need to perform. so he will we entered all the already all the catalogs in the notification we entered all the catalogs in the notification now this is the a maintenance order so here you will be having object list already got copied from the notification we need to enter what operations we are going to perform so what operations we are to perform so he will go to the operations tab there is a tab called operation here you will enter all the operations which you are going to perform so now we need to For what activities we need to do? Open, let's say, open the end cover. Okay, open the end cover. Remove the failure gasket. Remove the failure bearing. Remove the sorry. Remove the failure bearing. Or let me put this first. Remove the failure bearing. Remove the failure gasket. Remove the failure. complete after that replace with new bearing replace with new gasket replace with new gasket and replace with new coupling so these are the activities we are going to do 
okay and finally do the inspection do the inspection so these are the activities you have to perform these are the operation so i entered all the operations in the system in the in the work order okay so now you enter the work layer number of people who are going to perform these activities and the duration let's say two two people are working on this i'm entering the labor okay number of people and what is our control key our control key is calculate duration okay so number of hours it is going to take i am entering so four three i'm just randomly entering a five two five three two two i'm entering so it will calculate the duration so your durations have been calculated so total hours is required is four two people are working so four divided by two two so two hours okay so these are the activities we are going to perform operations we need to perform okay so that operations i entered okay now here when you are replacing with new bearing you need a new bearing okay so we are looking at now stock items and non stock items stock items and non stock items so to replace with new bearing you need a new bearing part spare part so select operation click on the button general general okay you go here and then you click on the button list structure list there is a button called on the down select structure list click on that system will take you to the bomb of this equipment so in our master data we created equipment bomb equipment bomb so that entire bomb of this particular equipment get displayed over here so now we need new bearing so select from here double click on it that component will get copied over here okay so now your component got copied so ball bearing is required if you are if you want to change the quantity also you can change the quantity okay so during the operation 50 you will require ball bearing so now go back now during the operation 60 we require new gasket so select the operation select the operation go to general go to general again click on the button list okay you have a gasket here flat gasket double click on it okay so if you require only two you can change the quantity here okay now go back now during the seventh operation you require coupling you require coupling so select the operation click on the button general okay uh, put it over here go to list go to list now here in our bomb components you in our bomb components coupling is not there so you can enter it manually also so let's go to the component okay material type okay plan thousand enter coupling c o u p l i h coupling i am searching the materials which are there with coupling Discussion and I'm not very sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was I forgot to put it in material description. Sorry, Shh. what coupling is not there. Huh? Plant say a thousand. Yeah, thousand is only. Coupling is there. There is a material called coupling. So I am using this in the plant 1000. So this I am entering. Let's say I require three couplings. So enter that. 
So let's say as it is a not available, let's say I'll put it as a non-stock item. Okay, I'll show you what is this stock item and what is this non-stock item. Okay, continue. Okay, now go back. Okay, so now if you go to the components, now what components we require? We require ball bearing, we require flat gasket, and we require coupling also. So these are the components we require. Now apart from this, we require some nuts and bolts. Okay, let's say I'll, I'll require 70, 70 and by 40 mm nut, nut and bolts, nuts and nuts nut and bolt. Okay, these also I require, okay, which is not there first time I'm procuring. Let's say I require 5 and it is also a non stock item. Right. Operation, right, I will use it in 70, operation 70. Okay, so each I put it as each item category. So that means here the L means stock items. So for these stock items means in your company, in your organization, you will be maintaining stocks for these components. Okay, whereas N non-stock items means for this you will not be maintaining any stock in your organization. You procure them and you will directly consume them. So these are the components we are going to use in our this repairing activity so for non-stock items for stock item when you assign it in the order system will be generating a material reservation and when you release it and you will be taking these stock items from your engineering warehouse that is what called goes issue this will happen in case of stock items okay so when you assign the component stock item in the order system will be generating a reservation okay and when after the releasing the order you will be taking these stock items from your engineering warehouse because you have the stock of them. Okay, so this is the stock material process. Now, in case of non stock items, in case of non stock items, what happens is when you assign it, system will be generating a purchase requisition. When you assign the non stock component in the order, your work order, system will be generating a purchase requisition. So, use you use this purchase requisition and then you go to MM area, MM people. Material management people will convert this purchase requisition to purchase order and when the order is released, they give this purchase order to the vendor supplier. He will be supplying it and you receive the material through goods receipt. Okay. And finally, you will be making some payment to the vendor. So this is the process flow in case of non-stock material. Okay. We will see all these things. So here during the non-stock material, we will be going to the MM area, materials management area we will be looking at. Okay. So now let's go to the order again. So now here all components added, all components added. Now let's go to the cost part. Okay. So click on the, now you calculate the cost. Determine, click on the button, determine cost. Okay. So now your costs have been calculated. Your planned costs have come. So your labor cost, your repairing cost has come. Your spare, spare parts cost have come and your overhead costs have been calculated okay so these are the planned cost so your total planned cost is now this much okay so now let's go to the order header if you want to enter cost estimated cost you can enter over here so i'll enter the estimated cost this already we discussed yesterday this is these three types of cost estimated cost planned cost and actual cost planned costs are calculated when you create the order Okay, estimated cost you can enter manually. Okay, so I am entering that. So let's say my enter estimated cost 1173. 1173, right? So I'll enter as 1175 here. 1175. This is my estimated cost and the planned maintenance activity type. It's not regular maintenance. Achha, somebody is not there. Okay, let it be there. Okay, now system condition. I'll change it to not in operation. That means machine is under breakdown. So equipment is under breakdown. So it is not in operation. Okay. So selected all. I have done all the activities. Okay. Now I will be releasing the order. I will be releasing the maintenance order. Work order I am releasing it. Okay. So order release is refused as permits are still missing. So there are permits associated with order. So the order is not getting released. Okay. So I am saving the order 
we will issue the permit okay this is the order i'll issue the permit so let's go to the ipm2 transaction ipm2 so not issued my order is this one outstanding so these permits are still outstanding for this order so enter these options or click on execute so this is the permit not at issued level one which we discussed during our permits class permits class okay so now let us issue the permit select it now issue it so permit has been issued done okay now you can release the order so let's go to the order again change mode enter okay now he will be releasing the order so click on release button so order will be released after update now see it okay so order will be getting released okay so order got released order got released okay now if you go to the components so for the components which are having stock item the reservation got generated reservation got generated okay now the non stock items non stock items system will be generating a purchase requisition so if you select the non stock item if you go to the purchasing data see there is a purchasing re requisition got generated automatically we are here 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 system has generated a purchase requisition okay so now for this purchase requisition as of now the po is not there purchase order is not there that's why the checkbox is not activated now i'll enter the price enter the price so let's say this coupling let's say price is 5 euros per piece or let's say 10 euros per piece i'll enter that okay vendor i'll enter 1015 enter okay now let's go to the second item second non stock item i'll enter the price okay let's say i'll enter the price same vendor i'll enter some price let's say it is 6 euros okay i entered it go back okay now calculate the cost again calculate the cost again okay so you are now you have material direct internal material and your external metal which you are going to procure those costs have been have been calculated okay so now save the order okay now we will be converting uh, first we will issue the stock materials to the order okay whatever the stock materials are there okay those have to be issued to the order from the engineering warehouse so we'll do that activity okay so the transaction code is migo mig so the maintenance technician what he will do is he will take this order he will go to the engineering warehouse and he will ask them to issue the materials okay he'll ask them to issue the materials so what materials we need now let's go to the order display from the engineering warehouse we need these two materials ball bearing and flat gasket these two we require from the warehouse so let's they will do the migo in the real time whatever the transaction i am doing in the real time this will be done by the warehouse people. Warehouse department will do. We will not be doing it. Okay. So select the option goods issue. Order. Order. Now enter your work order number. So this is my work order number. So enter the work order number. Enter. Okay. See. If you see here. From the order system has copied the stock items. Ball bearing and flat casket. Those have been copied to the screen. Okay, now select it, click both items OK, click both items OK, enter the storage location. Okay, don't worry about this transaction, this will be done by the warehouse people, we will not be doing it in the real time. They will, here the, the, the use of this transaction is, they are issuing the spare parts to the technician. Okay, technician needs these parts, so he is issuing from the warehouse. Okay, so check for any issues. Okay, document is okay. Now you save it.
okay document is posted now if you go to the order if you go to the order order status will be updated with gmps gmps goods movement posted okay goods movement posted okay so now we have done this activity for the stock item stock item we did the goods issue now for the non stock items we need to convert the purchase order purchase requisition to purchase order and then we have to procure it so this is a basically mm cycle procurement cycle mm department will do it materials management team will do it so system generate the purchase requisition they will take this purchase requisition they will convert to purchase order they will convert to purchase order just one minute okay so they will convert to purchase order and this purchase order they will give it to the supplier vendor vendor will supply the material and we will make the gr so when we make the gr those materials will be used in the activity now they will do the invoice verification and they will make the payment to the vendor okay so this is the procurement cycle procurement cycle normally in the real time mm people will do it so we will convert the purchase requisition to purchase order okay so let's go and do that so what is our purchase order if you go to the components if you go to the non stock item and one more thing is before going to that all your activities whatever we are doing those will be added documented in the order so you can see the document flow in the order suppose if you go here if you click on this button document flow okay see everything will be documented in the order so this is the order this is a notification from this notification we created the order and for the operation 50 and 60 we issued the materials component stock items so those got updated here now for the non stock items system has generated the purchase requisition so using this purchase requisition now we will create the purchase order so that's the mm activity actually so take the take the component go to purchase purchase requisition you take okay now we will create a po Okay, so the transaction code is ME21N. Okay, create purchase order. So whenever purchasing department want to procure any material, they will be creating the purchase order. Okay, so now enter your purchase requisition number, item 10 and item 20. Enter. All the data from the purchase requisition will get copied to the purchase order. Okay, not a problem. All data got copied. Vendor has come. Everything has come. Go to header. Purchase organization, purchasing group, everything has come. Enter the st story location is not required. All data done. Check once for any issues. Okay, continue okay now save the purchase order now save the purchase order system will be creating the purchase order save it okay so system has created a purchase order against this purchase order vendor will supply the material now we will make the gr so now if you go to the order now if you go to the order as we created a po you can see this checkbox will get activated now. PO exist. So now if you go to the order, go back order once, come back, go into the order again. If you go to the components, go to select the item, go to purchasing. See, now as the PO is created, this checkbox got activated. That means for this purchase requisition, PO is created. From here you can tell that. Okay. So now against this purchase order, vendor will supply the material, supplier. Now we will make the GR goods receipt. Even you can see the PO number in the document flow. Even you can see the PO number in the document flow. If you go to the document flow, see this is the purchase order number got created. Okay, so all activities happened related to this order that you can see it in the document flow. Okay, so now go back. So now let's do the GR. So the transaction code is Migo again Migo. 
a my geo ego okay now here we are doing the receiving the material so do the goods receipt again this in the real time engineering uh, warehouse people will do we will not be doing actually so goods receipt purchase order select the option purchase order enter your purchase order number enter okay so your components have been come from the order coupling and 70 by 40 mm nuts and bolts so click on item okay okay enter done check once any issues okay document is okay now save it post it that means we have received the material spare parts from the supplier okay done material document posted now you can see this in the order again if you go to the order go back again go inside go to the components okay now go to the document flow see now goods receipt has been done we had the po we had the pr purchase requisition for the purchase requisition we created the po purchase order now against that purchase order we received the material gr this is the goods receipt number document number so everything you can see it in the document okay so now all spare parts have been received now you can execute these operations okay so spare parts have been received spare parts have been received non-stock materials also received now everything is done now we will be maintenance order is already released now we have seen all the documents in the document flow now we will be completing the confirmation so once the technician do the maintenance activity once the maintenance activity repair activity is completed they will come to the system and they will enter the confirmation they will do the confirmation same like yesterday's confirmation so the transaction code is iw40 enter pm order confirmation it is nothing but you are you are entering in the system that your maintenance activity is being completed so enter the order number okay enter all the operations are displayed see System has read the order and it is showing all the order, all the operations right from open the end cover to the do the inspection. Okay, so select all the operations now. Start confirming one one after the other. Click on the button actual data. So four hours. Let's say here I took four point two hours. Let's say actual uh, in planned hours is four hours, but in the real time when I am doing the activity, my actual hours are four point two hours. So you can enter that data. So click on final confirmation, clear open reservation, no remaining work. Enter, go to next operation, click on the button next operation. Next operation, let's say consume the same hours as planned. Final confirmation, clear open reservation, no remaining work. Next operation, final confirmation, clear open reservation, no remaining work. Here they will enter all the ex actual, actual data. Okay, let's say this took 2.5 hours. Enter that, final confirmation, clear open reservation, no remaining work. Enter. Next operation, next, next operation, next, okay, next, next, done. All, all operations have been confirmed. Everything done, okay, now save it. So your confirmation activity has been saved. Okay, so now if you go to the order, if you go to the order, order will get a status of confirmation. So order will get a status of CNF, confirmed. That means order has been confirmed. That means all your maintenance repair activity has been completed, confirmed, order status. So now the next step will be, so you have completed all the order. We have entered all the times, activities, all those things we have entered. Now we need to, before closing the order, we need to close our notification. So let's close the notification. Okay, so what you need to do is let's go to change mode. Enter. Okay, now before that, if you go to the cost, all your costs have been calculated. So your labor cost, actual costs have been calculated because we confirmed the order. Okay, now your material cost have come, stock items and non stock items also actual costs have come. So when you process the order, all your actual costs will get calculated. Okay. So now let's go to the header. Now let's go to the notification. From here, I'm going to your initial notification. So go there. Now go there. Now what task? We completed the task. So select the tasks. Now we completed them. So click on the button. On the down, there is a button. Complete button. Click on that. 
task completed status got changed to tseo tasks completed okay now what activities we have done so go to the activities tab what activities we have done bearing replaced okay gasket replaced then we have done coupling replaced and then we replaced nut and bolts replaced and then we did some inspection activity so these are the activities we have done okay enter that now you can enter the start and end date of the time so what i will do is i'll go to the order again i'll copy the timings from there go to the operation okay so these are the ones right okay let me copy this control y and copy this take this again go to notification go to the notification go to activities now here i am entering the data okay now for inspection let me for the final operation also i'll enter this one bolts and nuts okay for the inspection activity let me go to the order again operations inspection activity we'll copy the timings go to the notification again task that's enter that so this is the task i have done and that these are the start time and end time so those i entered it done all activities have been done go to tasks again now you are select all that task you have done and these are successful click on the button successful so tasks are now successful now if you see the overall header status all tasks completed atco that means all tasks completed all tasks have been completed and even it has got a status of order assigned that means for this notification we created a order that is why it is got a status of order assigned now go back now close the notification complete we are now just closing the notification complete the notification okay so we are i am closing the notification i am completing the notification there are no outstanding tasks all activities have been completed okay so now close it done done of course this one is coming okay not a problem so your notification is completed now the next step will be what they do is they will do the technical completion of the order they will do the technical completion of the order okay so now let's go to the order again change mode okay so notification is completed you are getting that message okay now we'll do the technical completion of the order so they do the technical completion okay done continue okay technical completion is done now if you go to the order order will get a status of teco t e c o technically completed okay technically completed so with this step our role plant maintenance people will role come to an end after this finance people finance your finance team will take over they will do the overhead calculation okay actual overhead calculation they will do okay this is pending so they do that same like yesterday's uh Okay, regular maintenance so they go to here they do through kg i2 kg i2 okay go to the controlling area 1000 in the real time this will be done by the finance your financial team so don't worry just try to understand the flow controlling area is 1000 order is this one your period is 12 month 12th month financial year is 2016 remove the test run indicator execute it so your actual overhead cost will get calculated okay done done now if you go here calculate it just one processing mode okay so this is your overhead cost actual overhead cost so now let's go to the order again now here you will be able to see the actual overhead cost so go back again go inside okay if you go to the cost see actual overhead costs have been calculated now okay now after this they will be doing the settlement they will be settling the order so whatever your maintenance costs all your maintenance costs will be settled to your cost center 
that is a settlement this is the final process they will be doing it so it will be done by the financial team again okay so if you go here report plan versus actual so what is your total actual cost total actual cost this is the one one two seven five point seven nine so this cost you need to settle it to your cost center okay so that activity they will do okay so let's do that the transaction code is ko88 so this also in the real time will be done by your financial team ko88 enter actual settlement order enter your order enter your settlement period financial year 2016 remove the indicator test run. okay now execute object requested is currently logged by user pp user 1 Okay. I am in change mode that is why it is locked okay so now even before that even before the settlement if I try to do the business completion of the order suppose if I try to do the business completion of the order see completion not possible log why it is not possible if you go to the log balance of the order is not zero that means your actual cost still are not settled as the balance of the order is not zero system is not allowing to do the business completion Okay, so that is why we need to do the settlement. So I'm doing the settlement now. I will come out of this change mode, save it, go back. Okay, now I'm doing the settlement. Execute it. Okay, so your settlement is done. Okay, now if you go to the detail list, if you go to the detail list, so this is the one. So your cost sender is the order, your maintenance order, A21167, and your cost receiver is your cost center 4300 which is in your equipment master so you are sending costs from order to the cost center and these are the cost settled okay now if you go to the order you can see them again iw33 enter go inside now if you go to the cost okay now if you go to the report plan versus actual see your maintenance cost have become now zero actual costs have become zero because the costs have been posted to your cost center. Okay. So this is how they do the cost settlement. Now they go to the change mode and they will do the business completion. The final step is the business completion. Now it will allow the business closure. Complete business. You click on this button. See, completion possible with warning. Why? Because the purchase order which we created for that invoice is not done. That is why you are getting that message. We have done the good receipt, but your accounting department has to do the invoice verification and payment to the vendor. As these steps are not pending, as these steps are pending, system is giving this message. But still, you can do the business completion. So if you go to the log, you will see that purchase order item order still still without still without final billing indicator. That means payment is not done to the vendor that's why we are getting it but that is the financial activity we can close it now orders technically completed go to complete business now complete done complete done now if you go to the change mode order will get a status of closed clst business completion is done if you go to the i button see closed order is closed now you cannot do anything with this order even if you go to the change mode also everything got grayed out everything got grayed out everything got grayed out now you cannot change anything over here okay so this is how your this is how your settlement and then business closure is done. okay so this is the process flow of breakdown maintenance okay so this is the process so we discussed as of now two business processes with three scenarios yesterday with pm01 we discussed internal operations and today with pm02 we discussed internal stock items and again with pm02 today we discussed internal stock item and non stock item these three we covered okay tomorrow we will be covering full scenario internal operation external operation stock item non stock item and service also all this will cover in tomorrow's class okay so now if you go to the order again if you go to the document flow you will be able to see entire activity you have done see this is how it is. 
including confirmation. Everything will be documented in the workflow, document flow. Okay, so this is all about your breakdown maintenance. Okay, so this is all about your uh, breakdown maintenance.